Okay, here is a battery compartment where the battery compartment or the batteries are partially hidden. Let me show you. Whoop. See, there, that's where they go. They go in there. Okay. Anyhow, and then uh, over here is another battery compartment where the positive terminal right here along with a negative terminal is the same uh, piece of metal completing the circuit opposite the other end here which has an individual circuit meaning the the first the spring there which you see is a negative side versus the uh, in the back there that's the positive side okay so this is where you would have a radio where the well this one the cord goes in the back and this would be four batteries in here and giving you approximately uh, six volts okay uh, if you're using a, a, a standard D battery similar to this one here, Rayovac Renewal, which I have several sets of, these are rechargeable batteries, but you need to have the specific charger to go with it, okay? Now, uh, another issue that you may have with your uh, battery-operated boombox device, uh, you may come across a battery compartment that looks like this on the inside. This will have uh, your two uh, negative sides right here along with your two positive sides and then you on the other end of the compartment which I do not have the the uh, circuit board for would have a corresponding flip-flop of these this would be um, the flat side and, and this side would be the spring side and it would just be a simple wire going across to complete the circuit okay then um, another issue that you may have come across would be uh, this where the where the AC plug plugs into the unit and you have this little switch that you may see here which I'll try to actuate if you when you insert the plug it pushes a switch here to engage the AC circuit and when you release it it is supposed to disengage the AC circuit and engage the DC circuit and or battery circuit okay uh, sometimes this little switch will get stuck and once you release the plug, it will stay in the down position and you may need to get in there with a little tiny screwdriver and pry this little switch out to engage the battery circuit. So that may be an issue for you, uh, but that, that's just showing you how that would work. Um, okay, so anyway, so now we have this unit here. Now, uh, when inserting batteries into uh, bat boom boxes here, uh, you may come across a battery compartment that's like this which um, the batteries go in this side it takes six batteries and there's one showing here but it's hidden and if you whoops it didn't do that, or it goes down here to this side so what you may need, need to do is simply take your uh, take your oh, find yourself a, a, a regular pencil um, that has a pencil eraser on the end uh, the red one you can use that, but it it, um, it tends to wear away rather quickly, uh, and maybe leave a little pieces of rubber inside. Or if you can find the white, I don't have one here, but this was white. Uh, but um, get a white uh, pencil eraser, which is used for erasing ink, and therefore it is more durable and does not erase away or does not wear away as fast as the red, red rubber. But anyway, use that to clean your battery terminals inside the boom box okay or the battery terminals inside whatever battery operated device you may have okay use that to clean that if you cannot access that with this you may need to disassemble your boom box or a battery operated device to uh, to clean these terminals because they may be corroded by uh, leakage from the battery I don't have a leaky battery because I throw them away just as soon as they come uh, but this is what you would do is you would uh, these would leak at the end and, and um, uh, not, This wouldn't anyway, but they would leak and then they would corrode this and they would have a bad connection So therefore you would need to clean that um, Then uh, over here is another battery compartment where it doesn't necessarily show but this would be the positive side or the side that you would put the top of the battery to like this and this would be the negative side or the flat side where you put the uh, the flat bottom against the spring that's normally how the batteries go in most of your 90 percent of your radios it's uh, let's see going back to the first radio here that i showed you that had just a uh, let's see let me throw this back up here this one here which has a uh, a flat uh doesn't have a spring and actually just a sprung piece of flat metal you may want to use that or that's 
anyway, uh, so and then you may also come across a, a battery compartment where the one there's one battery hidden, one level down. As you can see, this one here just takes one battery down level, and then it takes uh, uh, then the other battery is hidden down in, in in there. Can you see that? Okay. So then we have like that, and then uh, and then here's another uh, battery compartment on another boombox where the batteries are hidden. See the well, I actually have the power cord in there, but um, those terminals may become uh, dirty at one point, and you may need to clean them as well. And then lastly, I guess when uh, purchasing batteries, uh, try to not purchase batteries that come in a blister pack that is half plastic and half cardboard, as these tend to not last as long as uh, batteries that you may find in a uh, complete plastic, um, a complete plastic blister plaque. These tend to last a lot longer because they are more airtight than the other packages. Uh, so that's about all I can tell you and um, hopefully you'll be able to clean your battery compartment for your uh, little boom box and uh, be prepared for the next uh, hurricane emergency or, or just simply power outage emergency that you may come across. Okay. So hopefully you've enjoyed my little spiel here and um, that's all I know. Okay, so have a good day and Hopefully this answers your question. Bye-bye.